The content of this video course is divided into 12 sections that contain 56 guides in total. Each guide is formed by one or several lectures. The total number of video lectures is 146, except the two introductory lectures. You can watch these guides one by one, from the beginning to the end, or you can skip directly to the guide or lecture that interests you. However, please keep in mind that some guides may be very hard or even impossible to understand if you don't have the knowledge from the previous guides. For example, it may be very hard to understand the factorial ANOVA if you don't know anything about the one-way and two-way ANOVA, or understand the mixed ANOVA if you don't master the repeated measures ANOVA, or understand the multiple regression if you don't know how to interpret the results of a simple regression. Moreover, some topics are explained in detail only once and then used over and over again in other guides, for example, normality checking or outlier detection. So, if you are not familiar with those topics, you should go through the corresponding guides and understand them well. In a word, before starting to watch any guide, please make sure that you have the required knowledge from the previous guides. Now, let's review the 12 sections briefly. The first section touches the basics about working with the SPSS program. The lectures here present the simplest operations with data, like defining variables, recoding variables, creating dummy variables, selecting cases, file splitting or data weighting. In the second section, I will show you how to create four types of charts, maybe the most useful of all – column charts, line charts, scatterplot charts and plot charts. You will use them intensively in your statistical analysis. The section number 3 presents five basic data analysis procedures – frequencies, descriptives, explore, means and cross tabs. In this section, you will get some fundamental skills like building frequency tables and computing the essential statistical indicators for your data series mean, standard deviation, quartiles, skewness, kurtosis, etc. In the section 4, you will learn how to verify some important statistical assumptions – normality distribution and absence of outliers – as well as how to transform your initial variables in order to get normally distributed variables. The section number 5 deals with one sample analysis, namely, the one sample t-test, the binomial test, and the chi-square test for goodness of fit. The section number 6 presents the association tests – the Pearson and Spearman correlation, the partial correlation, the chi-square test for association, and the log-linear analysis. In the section number 7, you can find 15 tests for mean differences. The first 10 tests – the t-tests – the between subjects analysis of variance and the within subjects analysis of variance are parametric, while the last five tests – Mann Whitney, Wilcoxon, Kruskal Wallace, Friedman and McNamara – are non-parametric tests. The section number 8 contains the predictive techniques – the simple and multiple regression, the regression with dummy variables, the sequential regression and the logistic regression binomial, multinomial, and ordinal. In the section 9, you can study two scaling techniques – the reliability analysis and the multidimensional scaling, while in the section number 10, you will find two data reduction procedures – the principal component analysis and the correspondence analysis. The section number 11 contains two important grouping methods the cluster analysis and the discriminant analysis. The last section, 12, only contains one lecture, an appendix to the course. This appendix deals with multiple response analysis. You will learn how to record the questions with multiple answers and how to tabulate these answers. Ok, so let's go down to it. Let's start with the first lecture.